that was that. Was it all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I got to, uh, not, I, no opinions. Yeah, no, no, that was good. Facts. Oh, that's good. Um, the, the thing that was most significant was the point of you thought you were going to the Olympics for the speech and why we go to the Capitol. That was yeah. like a very, that was like one of the most important. Well, I did. Moments so, in there. Why we, I thought we were going for a Yeah, yeah. I didn't, there wasn't even a march. There was no permit for a march. Yeah. I don't hear it. I'm like that. Mic check. I'm just the actor. Well, so to speak. So, uh, thank you. Um, so, um, as an independent journalist, it was an honor to testify before the committee today to share what my camera captured and what I experienced while filming a documentary about why Americans are so divided when Americans have so much in common. I do not have a political agenda, 
My goal as an independent journalist is always to prioritize the truth and to let people talk for themselves rather than interpreting events for my audience. The footage clips shown today are a snapshot of what occurred on January the 6th. I hope my footage and the subsequent documentary will help people understand and visualize what occurred on that day. It's important for Americans to see the unvarnished truth of what happened for themselves. I hope my footage helps people understand why there are so many divisions in America when there should be so few. Was there any video that you gave to the committee that was not shown today? Yeah, there's extensive video that we didn't show today. We were, me and my crew, and I'd like to thank my crew of Alex Fies, uh, Nicholas Lupo, and Wade Shepard, who um, we had a, an interesting experience. Despite being separated, we managed to create an encyclopedic look at that day because our journeys touched, but they didn't cross. Anyone have any questions? Did you, did you ever ask any of the Proud Boys what they plan to do? What they plan to do? Right. Yeah. Uh, well, I never asked them what they plan to do because I never knew that there was going to be um, uh, you know, a march towards the Capitol. I thought we were going to a rally. And, but, but then when you followed them, did you say, why are you going here? No, I, at that point, I'm basically in the moment, and I'm I'm now just covering an event, and I'm trying to work out in my head how to use on my own how am I going to create a scene out of these guys walking to the Capitol. I thought they would stop at the Capitol, um, and so I've shoot some. Oops, I'm sorry. Slow motion stuff. I'm at the side. I'm trying to create a scene. Like, how does this cut together? That's all I'm thinking about in my head. I have no strategic vision apart from what's directly being recorded at that time. So in, in real time, you didn't necessarily have a view of the big picture of everything we've learned since of what the committee laid out today. No, how, how, do you view it, how do you view it now, hearing what they described and versus what you saw? I'm, I'm sort of a, a little upset with myself because uh, when you're actually there and you don't see, you're, you're, you know, you have this worm's eye view of what's going on. So uh, subsequently, you've seen these things, you know, emerge. Um, I wish I'd have had those I had had some knowledge about the bigger picture back then because I'd been asking a lot more uh, precise questions. I was asking very philosophical questions. One of the big questions that we were asked is, what does it actually mean to be American? What brings Americans together? I mean, that's a question I'd ask you. What does it mean to be American? That's enough? Done? I have to take you to Oh, I have to go? Last okay. question, you've covered wars in Syria and Afghanistan. What was it like? How does this compare? Sorry. You've covered wars in Syria and Afghanistan. What was that day like in comparison to those things? Well, there was the, the big difference between um, a, a, a war where you're, uh, where you, where, than this was, I wasn't expecting this. So we got pepper sprayed, we got CS gas, I got shot with, um, the pepper balls and um, um, it took a while to decompress because I just wasn't expecting it and it was for a very long time uh, you know in in war zones the, the 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 kineticism is usually generally quite short to have an experience that lasts over the a period of five hours of that intensity uh, is is unusual Ha, 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 ha.